Speaker, my question is to the Minister responsible for Seniors Affairs. Uh, Ontarians are living longer and healthier lives, and many of Ontario's seniors want to continue being active and engaged in their communities. We see through the many community groups that are active in Etobicoke Lakeshore and in ridings throughout the province of Ontario. These groups are integral parts of our communities and work to provide seniors with a space to share and learn and opportunities to enjoy new and exciting experiences. Mr. Speaker, when the Seniors Community Grant was developed in 2014, it opened doors for many of these groups to expand their programs and offer unique experiences to Ontario seniors. It's been a successful program. And Mr. Speaker, can the Minister of Seniors Affairs inform the House about the current status of the Seniors Community Question. Grant Program? Thank you. Minister responsible for Seniors Affairs. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to begin by thanking the member from Etobicoke Lakeshore for his question about Seniors Community Grants. And as the Minister responsible for Seniors, I also want to take a minute to welcome all of the seniors in the gallery today. Mr. Speaker, these, these grants which have been in place since 2014 have provided Ontario seniors access to 700 different types of programs. The programs range from education, arts, culture and healthy living and focus on, sen on making sure seniors feel included and encouraging volunteerism. To get an idea, Mr. Speaker, of the reach of this program, consider these numbers. Since 2014, these grants have touched the lives of a quarter Answer. of a million Ontario seniors, and this year we expect the grants to touch the lives of another 142,000 seniors. Mr. Speaker, thank the you. Thank you very much. Two supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank the Minister for her answer. And as we're building Ontario up and investing in our people, that's not just youth and students, it also includes our seniors. And seeing nearly 700 projects across the province receiving these grants is an amazing accomplishment. These projects are strengthening communities throughout Ontario. And by supporting these local grassroots organizations and giving them flexibility in their programming, the grant allows these organizations to develop projects that best fit the unique needs in their communities. However, Mr. Speaker, I wonder whether this grant benefits Indigenous and multicultural seniors as well as seniors outside of urban centres in the same way. So this pro grant is an excellent way of providing seniors with opportunities. Question. And I want to ask, uh, Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Seniors Affairs whether she can inform how the Seniors Community Grants are helping multicultural, Indigenous and rural seniors. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That's a very important question, and I'm delighted to answer that question. Here are some examples, Mr. Speaker, of the diverse communities that we are reaching. Thanks to the Seniors Community Grants, Indigenous elders in Little Current on Manitoulin Island will be working with students to create a local story guide booklet, opening communication and sharing histories across generations and communities. In Kitchener-Waterloo, Aging with Pride is training LGBTQ seniors to help facilitate workshops to raise awareness of their special needs and concerns. And in Ottawa, Mr. Speaker, the Ottawa Chinese Canadian Heritage Centre is offering 10 monthly lectures to Chinese seniors, teaching them how to manage everyday issues. These are just three examples, Mr. Speaker, Answer. of the diversity of programs. And I do want to say, Mr. Speaker, that this program has been so singularly successful that in Thank two you. years we have increased funding fourfold. Thank you. Thank you.